Ola Hawaii is a research centers in minority institutions program at the UH John A. Byrne School of Medicine. Funded by the National Institutes of Health, Ola means health and to heal in Hawaiian, and Hawaii is an acronym for health and wellness achieved by impacting inequalities. Now in its second five-year cycle, with total funding upwards of $45 million, Ola Hawaii has fostered meaningful connections between researchers and diverse communities in Hawaii, addressing health disparities and improving indigenous and minority health, particularly among Native Hawaiians, Pacific Islanders, and Filipinos. It is very different from the traditional way we study um, a population or we study a disease. For Ola Hawaii, we have a community engagement at all levels of the project. So from the beginning, it is a uh, collaboration between the investigators and the community in terms of what is studied and what is investigated and what is uh, eventually found and disseminated into the community. One of the program's cornerstones is the Community Engagement Corps, led by Joanne Sark and supported by Kimberly Spencer Tolentino and Grace Matsuura. As CEC director, Joanne is tasked with building community trust in research, while Kimberly and Grace support junior investigators and core directors with grant administration and help to navigate through databases, publications, and online reporting tools. Ola Hawaii is an exciting program, and I can think of two main reasons. Uh, the first one is that the program serves to develop the future generations of researchers to success and independence. The second reason, it gives me the opportunity to work with our core directors who are research experts in um, medicine, public health, data science, as well as clinical and behavioral sciences. The call for proposals is university-wide and highly competitive. It requires researchers to identify a community partner for their research. This ensures that there is a need as well as a demand for the data from the community. We want the ideas for research to come from community. We want to involve community members in reviewing the grant proposals and saying, this will work, this won't work, and that makes all the difference. And what I'm hoping from this is that more community members will get jazzed about research and jazzed about higher education and come back to school. Within the Community Engagement Core is a HUI or work group of community members from nonprofits and medical institutions across the state. So a lot of our research involves Native Hawaiian Pacific Islanders and Filipinos. So most of the HUI members are from those populations. So we do have people from Molokai and the Big Island and they are really excited. They love being part of research. They, you know, a lot of the scientific or medical jargon doesn't escape them, but we do train them on the grant process, how to review a grant. But I think their voice has been missing for a long time that this is a great opportunity for them and they love giving advice and having an impact on the kind of research that affects their community. Research on a good day is complicated, but getting the grants and the funds is rocket science. That to me is the real research. If it wasn't for people in, in the back room, we wouldn't be able to move things if we didn't have that kind of support. As more communities engage with researchers, they become more organized and are able to make a greater impact. We have such stellar examples of communities that have their own research committees. These are committees that are building their capacity to be able to have that exchange in research because they were mad for being left out. And if we want to have that conversation between communities and researchers or institutions like the university, one, we have to make space and we have to increase awareness. 